Bienvenue à cette cinquième émission de la Anglais Langue Seconde. Nous sommes très heureux que vous soyez avec nous aujourd'hui. La semaine dernière, nous avons regardé ensemble possessive nouns, possessive adjectives et le fameux question word whose. Et j'espère que vous avez tous intéressant. Aujourd'hui, nous allons embarquer dans un nouveau temps de verbe, celui de la present progressive où on insert le, le ing avec la phrase. So, très intéressant. Vous allez apprendre comment utiliser ça avec un affirmative, negative, question, etc. Donc, bonne émission et bonne écoute. Well, as mentioned in the introduction, we're going to be talking about the present progressive a verb tense today, and I think you'll find it interesting because you'll be able to talk about how we are doing things now or how we are doing things uh, on, a, on a regular basis, etc. And I think you'll find it very interesting. So let's go to our PowerPoint and have a look at this. So we'll start by talking about party talk. Everybody likes a party. Huh? So let's talk about party talk. What's going on at the party? Hey, Lee! Hey, hi, Jessica. How's the party? It's great. I'm sorry you're missing all the fun. Me too. What's happening right now? Well... Lance is singing karaoke right now at the party. Lance is singing karaoke. Sam and Joy are dancing. Max is dancing by himself and having fun. So, everybody's having fun, eh? Let's continue. So, let's look at our form for the present progressive. You have the verb to be, and we learned how to use the verb to be a little bit earlier, and the base form of the verb using ing. So, let's have a look at this. The so, subject plus the verb to be it can be negative or affirmative. The base form of verb and ing, and other words if necessary to make it longer. So this is our first sentence. Carlos, subject, is, verb to be, opening, verb plus ing, gifts, the other words. Or I, subject, am, wearing, verb, a costume. Joe and Linda are talking. So, use of the present progressive. How do we use the present progressive? In general, we use the present progressive to talk about actions that are, are or aren't happening now, at the moment we are talking. So, look at now. Bob is dancing. Tina isn't eating. Now. Is dancing. Isn't eating. Now. So, practice one for use of the present progressive. Examples. She is hitting the uh, pan panika. So, what do we have here in the first one? Well, oh, nothing. Okay. So, contractions. Use the contractions in speaking or in informal writing. So, we are would become we're listening to the DJ. Dan isn't a negative enjoying the party. He looks rather bored, doesn't he? Or if we form questions with the verb to be, uh, we can use uh, the verb to be and replace the verb to be before the subject. He is bringing gifts. So can we make it a question? Is he bringing gifts? And we put a question mark at the end. They are dancing. We make it a question. Are they dancing? And we put a question mark at the end. So let's do some practice here. Is he baking a cake? They are leaving at 9 p.m. Are they leaving at 9 p.m.? We are wearing costumes to the party. Are we wearing costumes to the party? And Janet is talking about work. Is Janet talking about work? Let's talk about some short answers now. 
We usually use short answers and contractions in speaking, but we can also use long answers. Let's take an example. Are you following my lead? No, I'm not. Or no, I'm not following your lead because you're dancing too slowly. So we have a few practice here just before the end. Is he pulling out a mouse from the hat? No, he isn't. He's pulling out a rabbit. Is he winning the game? Mm, no, he isn't. I don't think it. Are they wearing costumes? No, they aren't. So, now that you know how to use the present progressive, you will be able to talk with people what is happening now, what you are doing now, what is going on. It's going to be very interesting. Your conversation in English is going to improve greatly, and your vocabulary will get better as you practice too. So now we're going to go on to a practice session with a student to practice the use of the present progressive. Well, good evening, Alexander. Welcome back to English class. Yeah, good evening, John. And how are you this evening? Fine, and you? So this evening, Alexander, we're going to continue with the verb tenses. Okay. We're going to practice the present progressive. What's that? ING, singing and dancing. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to have fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go singing and dancing. <laughs> Probably not, but maybe we, we, we'll have fun. <laughs> okay, so the, our friends on television will be able to see the slide that you're going to see here. Okay, perfect. Okay, we have a text using the present progressive. So what I want you to do is read quickly through the text and tell me what is the present progressive. We can see it's underlined. Mm -hmm. And then give me the base form of the verb from one to eight because there are eight verbs used. Okay, okay perfect. I'm in my psychology class. This semester, we're studying child psychology. So, we're studying is the, 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 the base form is study. Today's class is almost over. Julia and Maria are closing their books. Clo are closing is the present progressive, and close is the base form. The base form. Our teacher is returning a test. Returning is uh, uh, the the base form of returning is return. Bob has a smile on his face. He's always get a good get a good grade. Ryan isn't smiling. Smiling the base form is smile. Maybe his grade is low. Coco is texting under the table. Texting is the base form is text. John isn't listening to the teacher. Listening, listen is the base, the base form. He's taking, he's thinking about lunch. Thinking, uh, the base form is think. I can hear his stomach, his stomach. It's making noise. Making, the base form is make. Good. So every time you use the ing, for example, we're studying uh, psychology class. This is the present progressive. Okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. So now we're going to go to our next slide. And we have a picture. Okay. So using this picture, I want you to tell me what the different people are doing in this picture using the present progressive. Okay. Um, the first guy on the left is talking on his phone. Mm -hmm. The two person that is uh, at the right a little bit the the one with the yellow shirt and the black the the, the black coat are uh, looking at the windows of Joey's restaurant. Hmm? The the fourth guy is walking with probably a musical instrument. Hmm? There is another guy who's talking on his phone. And what is he holding? He he, he is holding a uh, bag of potato chips hmm? um some lady is walking with her baby hmm? and the lady in the back on the right uh, on the extreme right is walking to uh, exit the picture to exit the picture 
and the last lady is waiting in front of Pacific Bank. Very good. Hey, you're not too bad. Yeah, thank so, you. So, we'll go on to our next picture here. Okay, perfect. We're going to use a lot of pictures today, okay? Mm -hmm. So, it's it's the same people in most of the pictures, mm -hmm. two pictures. I want you to basically compare picture one with picture two and tell me in picture one, a boy is playing on his computer, but in picture two, he's putting things into the recycle bin, for example. Okay, okay perfect. So, uh, in the first picture, uh, the guy with the gray coat is probably looking at his phone. On the picture B, he's talking with his friend. Uh, the two ladies are leaving, are leaving the table, uh, no, probably, are um, almost near to eat. But mm -hmm. on the second picture, they're probably eating. On the uh, on the on the right, the lady with the blue shirt is eating on the first picture. On the second picture, she's drinking. On the uh, the 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 girl right beside her with the gray the the pink coat is not eating on the first uh, picture, and she's eating on the second picture. Very good. So. Are you a little more familiar now with how to use the yeah. present progressive? It's more clear now. So really, when you're talking about the present progressive, you can be talking about what is going on now, what is happening now. Yeah, at, or at the moment. At the moment, okay. or this week, or this month, and stuff like that okay. also. Okay? Perfect. It can be larger also, but it's a limited time period. Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing you using the present progressive. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Merci d'avoir été là avec nous aujourd'hui. Comme vous vous rappelez, nous avons regardé ensemble aujourd'hui qu'est-ce qui concerne the present progressive, the ing qu'on utilise dans the phrase affirmative or negative pour dire quelque chose qui était en train d'arriver. J'espère que vous avez trouvé ça fort intéressant. La semaine prochaine, si vous êtes avec nous, nous allons regarder the simple past avec yes, no questions, wh questions, etc. Et ça va être très intéressant. Vous allez apprendre comment parler dans le passé. Alors, À la prochaine! Cette émission d'accès est appuyée par Cogeco et est rendue possible grâce à la collaboration de la communauté avec nos TV.